Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Henderson, North Carolina for Show, Shine, Shag and Dine. This event is held right on the streets of historic downtown Henderson, but this is also the home of the East Coast Drag Times Hall of Fame. So in addition to hundreds of really cool rods, custom and classics, there's a huge number of vintage drag cars and their drivers here awaiting induction into the Hall of Fame. So without further ado, let's get around and check out some of this historic and high North Carolina horsepower. Nancy, this is one of the wildest shows I have ever been to. This, and, I mean, this is all your fault, right? Well, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it is. And what, the ninth year? Ninth year. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a great car show, but you have this assembly of these vintage race cars and drivers like I have never seen. I've been involved in drag racing most of my adult I mean, you're, life. You're a racer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, used to be more so than now. I just have, I have a car, but I just do some exhibition yeah. runs. Did, did you also start the East Coast Drag Times uh, Hall of Fame? Yeah, we didn't have anything like this on the East Coast. This was before Bowling Green. Uh -huh. So we, I thought, well, that would be nice if we could honor the drag race legends from the East Coast. Of course, now we honor the drag race legends from all over. Period. Yeah, it doesn't matter where they came from because most of them raced on the East Coast anyway. But uh, that's how it got started with a, a personal reunion that we had with uh, friends and associates. In terms of just the regular show cars that are here, how many cars are here? There's there's hundreds of cars here. Thousands. I think it's a couple thousand. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. I, they're just ev we everywhere. We have lots it's, everywhere, it's yeah. It's packed, and this, this street, uh, Garnett Street, is, I don't know, it's a good mile, mile and a half right. long, and it's just, I mean, solid. But, but it's then, a perfect place uh, to do it, yeah. perfect. But then all these historic, drag cars. Yeah. I mean, how many of those are here? There's got to be 50 plus of those. Yeah, well, my last count before there's before the show date was like 62. <laughs> well, this thing looks like fun. What do you say we take this? I, and believe hey, it or not, this is street leader. Let's do you're, it. Yeah. You're good at this. Fire this baby up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Joe, I'm absolutely surrounded in historic drag cars here, but this one just jumped out at me. This is a fantastic machine. This is actually a Stone Woods and Cook yes, piece, the, right? Yes, the, the original car. And this is this is not a, a replica or a recreation nope. or a tribute car. Nope. This is the car. Yep, the car. It was originally built in 1960, 61, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, campaigned by Stone Woods and Cook. A gas, B gas, supercharged. Recently mm. voted in in Hot Rod by the viewers as the most popular race car of that era. Really? Yes. Oh man. Well, you know, it's I mean, it's so striking, and and, and I love the fact that it's it's still just you know like untouched. It's it's just you know period correct as it can be because it's the car. Yes. <laughs> yes. It, it, it wasn't easy to find some of the old uh, memorabilia and race car stuff, but. Uh, through a lot of research and some friends that were still racing Oldsmobile stuff, I was able to acquire what we needed. Point. Okay. Well, you know, and, and, and again, this is a show car yep. interior from the 60s, big time. Yep. And this, I can tell it's the original, right? Right. Original Ed Martinez interior, 1960 61, it was done. You just don't see this. No. I, you know, no. I, and, and yet. That's still the uh, 41 Willys dash, the original, right? Original dash. When they cut the firewall on this car to get the motor in, they, they couldn't extract, well, I can't extract the original dash now because it's kind of boxed in. So, so you better like just it. Just leave it in yeah. there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and what a weird uh, setup, a weird orientation on the gas pedal. Yes. I think Doug, who was very small, maybe 5'3", oh, um, really? 150 pounds, um, I think he had his own unique way of driving it. The, the shifter is in reverse right now, but all the way back is is neutral, and then you put it up two gears at a time, and that's it. So all he had to do was move it short, and it was out of his way when he was driving. So what's the what's the transmission? Transmission is an original B and M Hydro. Oh man, yeah. And she's an all steel car. All so steel car, except, for the, front except end. for the cow automotive front end. Yes. Americar. Americar was the uh, the name that Willys in '41 put that on their, their bumper. Model. That was their model. It showed on the on the hood piece and on the rear bumper. Now. I see it. It's Oldsmobile powered? Yes, Old powered? Olds powered. Let's yes. go look at that. Okay. That's fiberglass. Yep. <laughs> Hand that out to your son. Yes. 
So that works. Oldsmobile engine, yes. Oldsmobile block. 394 cubic inches, 1961 block. Kind of hard to find these, uh, these these pieces now, but through some research and a lot of good friends, we came up with it. So uh, that manifold is that's probably like that's an Elderbrock aluminum intake manifold. Rare as can be, and very, very rare. Eight seventy one. Six seventy one. Six seventy one. Six seventy one with a four port. Hillborn injector, original stuff. This was actually a backup unit for the Hill Brothers car that I was able to acquire. So this too is a, a period piece, right? Yes, yes. Man, are you having a good time? Yes, I'm having a great time. This has been <laughs> outstanding for me. It's, it's been really good. <laughs> if you like nostalgia drags, this is the place yes. to be, man. Exactly. But I tell you, the, the Stone Woods and Cook, 41 Willys, very fine, Joe. Thank you, Dennis. Man, she's beautiful. Yes. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Ashley, I saw you roll in. I said, that, that's one nice hot rod, man. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. You know, you, you took sort of a, a, a traditional hot rod approach, but it's kind of an extreme version of it. Yes, sir. How'd you get that kick up and back? We, uh, when we built the frame, we kicked the back end of it up eight inches. Uh-huh. That way, when we put the floorboard and all in it, we just stepped the car up, kept the floorboard straight, picked the back end of the car up. Man. Well, now, what am I looking at? The front cow is a 29 sedan. Okay. The two side panels are a 30 sedan. The doors are a 33 Chevrolet truck, and the roof come out of an Astro van. Oh, <laughs> a little uh, touch of the new in there, too. Yes, sir. Huh? Wow, well, so you got four different vehicles in this baby, right? Yes, sir. Wow, man, that's really nice. 350 Chev? 355. 355, board yes, out. And uh, high rise dual quad? Dual 500 Elder Brock. Very nice, man. <laughs> and Lucky 13, is that just, oh, just what you it's need? Just, just the name we come up with. I like your uh, radiator cap skull. That's pretty nice. It's an old piggy bank my little boy had. We took it, made a Hood on my ladder, <laughs> How do you feel about giving up his piggy bank? He didn't care. I want no money in it. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Put it on the car. I tell you though, one of the things that drew me to the car were the wheels. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, those look, look period too. They're the original U.S. mag wheels, and not a reproduction wheel. No kidding. Man, are. those are like gold. Where'd you find those? Charlotte swap meet. They hard to find. Yes, sir. They, they, they hard to find. <laughs> yes, they. Find. Yes, they are. <laughs> and your cotter pin uh, door hinges. Is that a temporary or? They're staying. It was they temporary staying, to start like. with, but they're staying there. <laughs> And you know the, the the metal flake red interior. That's another '60s thing. Yes, and that's get, that's hard to find now. Yeah, I had to get on the internet and do some research, and I finally found a fabric store that had some in stock. Gosh, that's great! And another wild skull in here. That yes, was sir. really cool. Where'd you get that one? Off of eBay. That's another eBay find. <laughs> yes, sir. A pretty <laughs> complex shifter setup. It's uh, we made it out of some hollow tubing. Yeah. And then it's got a metal rod going through the center of it, so you actually push his head down to pull it back in gear. <laughs> and tilt column, key in column? Uh, yeah, and I have uh, 86 S10. Man. And back here, lucky 13 again. But you know, you've, you've really done some nice work on this. Yeah, in the back, we took it and split it down the middle and pulled yeah. it in. Uh -huh. In the back, it's actually three inches narrower than a real sedan would have been. Well, I tell you, Ashley, she's a she's a sweet looking ride. You even have a period uh, Pepsi Cola bottle yeah. for your. I'm an electrician by trade, and I found it up on the house one day. <laughs> <laughs> I said oh. it'll stay till it breaks. <laughs> I know what I can do with that, <laughs> man. And people must be digging this. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I, I love it. I love that uh, high rise back seat, man. You do good work, Ashley. Thank you. Wild ride, <laughs> Brian. This is one serious rail. Thank you. <laughs> what? Uh, what am I looking at here? Is this all fiberglass? No, it's all aluminum. Really? Tom Hanna body. And uh, you know, everything's all chromed out. It's exactly the way it was. The car as it sits is 87% original. Well, you know, the paint job alone is fabulous. Who, who could even do that lace work? Uh, a fellow named Eustace out in California did it. Incredible, great expectations too. Uh, what, uh, 392 Hemi? 392 Hemi, right, runs on 100% nitromethane, straight right out of the can. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> putting, putting out what kind of horsepower? Uh, probably around two to 2,500. They're built for, this This engine is built not for to race, but just for show and uh -huh. flames and noise. Cackle. Yeah, cackle. <laughs> a lot of cackle. Yeah, now, lots of cackle. Was this a pretty competitive car back in the day? Uh, car was very competitive. It um, <laughs> held the national record for over two years, at the best of 6.53 seconds somewhere around 249, 250 miles an hour. And um, it was division one champion two years in a row. Wow. Now you actually, you saw this race back in the day, right? I took pictures of it as far back as 1969 and 70. You were just an enthusiast or? Uh, well, I was a track photographer at Raceway Park in English Town. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Wait, I mean, what a tight fit. Did the differentials right here, and what do you, your legs go over that? Legs over. Holy cow. Right. 
You don't want that coming apart, do no, you? No, no. And this is actually pretty ornate too. I mean, the wood on oh. the, the steering yoke and yep. the wood on the on the brake. The person who built the chassis was Don Long, Tony Nancy interior, Tom Hanna body. I mean, these top, are all big names. Yeah, top of the top line back from. These even look like uh, period tires. They are absolutely period. They were actual tires on the car in 1969 through 71. But these tires. They set the record on these on those, those exact very tires. tires. Oh man! <laughs> well, it's absolutely stunning, and you're a great company. I mean, these are all just really historic oh, pieces yeah. around here. Yeah, it's a great car. But this baby really pops. I got to tell you. Thank you. Thank man. you. We're very very happy with it. Thanks for bringing this baby right. out. Thanks, Dennis. John, this is a sweet 71 Cyclone Spoiler, Merck Cyclone Spoiler. Yes, sir. You don't see these very much anymore either. Yeah, made 353 of them. Is that only made? That's all they made. Oh, I didn't realize they were that scarce. Wow. Yep. You mean all total, not just this color, all total? All total, in 71, they made 353 of them. Wow. Wow. Now this, I mean, this looks like Ford's Grabber Blue, but they called it something different for Merck. Uh, competition Blue. Competition Blue, but it's basically the same exact thing. Exact same color. Exact Holy same cow. Color. Now, have you always been a Merck man? Always. First car I had was a 70 Montego, which is basic same sheet battle. Uh -huh. Just wasn't the uh, performance version. That's but then you, you always wanted a Cyclone spoiler, always, so you went and found this one. I always wanted a Cyclone spoiler. Ever had any other Cyclone spoilers? I got two other ones, actually. Yeah, two other ones. <laughs> well, if, I got another 71 and I got a 70. It's a disease, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. is a disease. Well, Sorry. these are you know these are really wild because um, you know they got this beak, almost this 71 Thunderbird beak, yeah. you know, because the T-Bird in 71 came out, and I'd forgotten they had hideaway headlights. Yep, that was an option. That is really cool. And and the, the front spoiler was stocked too, right? Mm -hmm. All the spoilers on the front and back were all part of the Cyclone yeah, spoiler really? package. Man, she's just in great shape. The interior looks unrestored. Is that like original? It's pretty pretty much original. I did get the dashboard redone, but the rest of it I haven't really done much to. Because that's a really special dash with the gauges integrated right into the yeah, they did it two years uh, for the Cyclone Spoilers, 70 and 71. And uh, it's still really right neat. Everybody notices the dash. Oh, yeah, man. It's just. Yeah. And did she come with the Hurst Shifter? Mm hmm. Holy cow. I mean, your headliner is even beautiful. I mean, everything yeah. about this is gorgeous. Big back window, long sloping, you know, trunk lid. Yeah. And of course, the spoiler. Mm hmm. Hence the name, right? Cyclone yeah. Spoiler. And this back plate, I think, is just gorgeous. I mean, that. Yeah. That would be a tough thing to replace if you ever had Very to. Very difficult, think. and uh, the tail lights are really hard to find. You can yeah. find them, but they're difficult. And it's all this the way she came, pretty the way much. She, the way she came. Oh man, it's an amazing shape. I just think it. And it's a it's a 429 Ram Air. Yes, sir. Wow. Let's go look at that baby. All right. So that's a functional uh, scoop and kind of great yep. there. Sucks air right in there and oh. right to the breather. Open her up, man. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is. That is gorgeous. Mercury CJ429 yeah. and packed in there. It's tight fit. Everything's tight. So has the engine been redone? I mean, it's, it's... I did I did redo the engine, yes. Uh-huh. Pretty much kept it kept it all stock. What kind of horsepower did these come with? Do you remember? Ford rated them at 370. I think it might be a little more than that. Yeah, those that, those was back in the insurance days. Exactly. Right? 370, exactly. you know? 370. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> wow. And she runs good? Runs great. Oh, a lot man. of torque. A lot of torque. That is just, John, that is just a way cool car. And I got to believe it attracts a crowd wherever it goes. It does pretty good. Yeah, it does, good. It does okay. You having a good time today at the I'm show? I'm having a great time. This great is a, show. This is a cool event, isn't it? Awesome show. Well, you got the only, only Merck Cyclone spoiler here, I think. Yeah, most of the time I do. <laughs> probably, probably in the state. Yeah. Hey, thanks for bringing it out, man. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Merck. Love it. Oh, man. The show shine, shag and dine here in Henderson, North Carolina is an absolute blast killer car show, but all these historic drag cars and drivers and the East Coast Drag Times Hall of Fame, you gotta check this one out.